you want me to do it instead? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I've already talked about the genealogies and the genealogies being different. Right, the genealogies being different is a problem not just for the four source hypothesis or the Ferrar hypothesis, but for the idea that the Bible is perfectly true. Right? If the Bible is perfectly true, how come they are confused about who Joseph's father was? Unless Joseph had two daddies. Um, Homosexuality was not an acceptable practice in first century Palestine, so that's not really a plausible explanation. Like, it's not like you. There's like one heir halfway buried down in the middle of a string of forty names. It's like the second one is different. How do you account for that? Um, that poses problems for the devotional method. Now, I want to look. Well, before I pass this out and look at this, do you guys have any questions about anything I covered? We've gone over the four source hypothesis and run over the Ferrars hypothesis. I want to look at a couple other passage, passages that are from these gospel parallels. study the synoptic problem, scholars have come up with this thing that they call a gospel parallel, where they take a passage and compare it side by side with other passages in the synoptics. So you can see here, I just opened it up, it's got Mark, Luke, and Matthew all side by side on the same page. I've given you some selections from this. I want to look first on page 12, the page number is at the very bottom. Page 12, John's preaching repentance. Okay, this passage is in which Gospels? Matthew and Luke, but not in Mark, which, if you support the four source hypothesis, that means that this material is what? Yeah, if that's your theory, this is probably Q material. It's not identical, you can see it's not identical, but when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, you brood of vipers. The other, the Luke version, John said to the crowds that came out to be baptized by him, you brood of vipers. So this material is not completely 100% identical, but it's very similar. You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bear fruits worthy of repentance, all of that is word for word identical. That's just one example of how scholars would use a gospel parallel to think about this material. Look at the top of page 13. This passage, John's preaching to special groups, is in which gospel? Luke, but not the others, which if you're taking the four source hypothesis, that means it's part of which source? Yeah, the L source, right? John's preaching about the coming one uh, do I want to look at this one? I don't really want to look at this one. You can see there's some similarities. There's some differences there. There's probably more differences. Oh, I know what I wanted to say here. John's preaching about the coming one, right? If it's in Mark, and it's in Matthew, and it's in Luke, then for the scholars of the four source hypothesis, it's obvious which source this came from. It originally came from Mark. And both Matthew and Luke were using Mark, so it makes sense that they would both have this passage. Now, look at 14. This is a really interesting example of why or how these synoptic authors might have changed a passage to suit their interests. Let's start with what, according to the four source hypothesis, is the earliest Mark. I got to point out. Pretty much everybody agrees that Mark's the earliest. Like, there are different solutions to the synoptic problem, but all the legitimate solutions assume that Mark is the earliest. Nobody really assumes that Matthew or Luke came first. So Mark, chapter 1, 
verse 9 through 11. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee, Galilee and was baptized by John of the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved with you. I am well pleased. So we get this story. Who baptized Jesus? John, John the Baptist in the Jordan River. He's called John the Baptist because he baptized people. 